Hi everyone, this is Miss Tang, and today we are learning to plan our writing, focusing on the introduction. Now, the reason why we are doing this is because we need to plan before we write our information report, and our success criteria includes being able to research, find and use credible sources, choosing the most important information, so the keywords, and putting it into our own words. And in our planning today, we'll be having a look at the introduction, so we will have a look at the scientific name and its classification. Now we've already gathered some information, so I've chosen to do whale sharks because I got to swim with whale sharks um, in the last holidays, so I found some information. Now if you would like to see how I gathered the information, I do have a video on that, otherwise we're going to have a look at um, our planning template, so you can use this template if you like or you can use a different one. I'll show you how I go through the planning process um, of picking out the information for the introduction. My animal or my title is going to be whale shark. I'm going to look for a scientific name, classification and a description for my introduction. So I'm going to have a look at my first website, National Geographic. And as you can see, we have got common name, whale shark, scientific name. Ready to go. So let's put that here. Now we're going to have a look at the classification. So it is classified as a fish. And what you can also do if you're not sure what the classification is, is you can have a look at this graph. So this is the classification of animals and it's split into vertebrates and invertebrates. So animals that have a backbone and animals that don't have a backbone. So underneath vertebrates, we've got warm-blooded animals and we've got cold-blooded animals. Under warm-blooded, we've got mammals and birds, like we've got bears, tigers, whale is also under there, ostrich, ostrich peacock and a eagle. And then underneath cold-blooded, there's fish, reptiles and amphibians. Now, I was wondering where whale sharks do fit in. And it did say on National Geographic that they are classified as a fish. Now, I find, found out that whale sharks are actually sharks. They're not whales, so they aren't mammals. They are classified as a fish. And the reason why they're called whale sharks is because they call them whale because of their size. So that's where they got their name from. So they are actually sharks and therefore they are fish um, and they're just called whale sharks because of their large size. What we can do, because it is classified under fish, we can also um, describe it a little bit. So we can say that they're cold-blooded. I might actually put that in here. Cold-blooded vertebrates. Now I'm just going to have a look and just quickly scan to see if there is any other information that I want to add in the description. So, oh, diet, lifespan, size, weight, th these are all going to be some great information for the following paragraphs. Oh, I can put in largest fish in the sea. Just going to do a comma, largest fish in the sea, scanning. And we're going to have, I'm going to have a quick scan. A whale shark is a fish and breathes via its gills. Oh, that could be interesting. A fish, just going to do it in brackets. Gills. The whale shark is the largest living shark. Shark. Great. Okay, I'm going to leave it there for my introduction. See you in my next video. Bye.